Good evening. Welcome to our evening service. We start on page 41. Lord, I have loved the habitation of your house and the place where your honor dwells. Dearly beloved, the scriptures teach us to acknowledge our many sins and offenses, not concealing them from our Heavenly Father, but confessing them with humble and obedient hearts, that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. We ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before Almighty God, but especially when we come together in His presence to give thanks for the great benefits we have received at His hands, to declare His most worthy praise, to hear His holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things which are necessary for our life and our salvation. Therefore, draw near with me to the throne of heavenly grace. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent, according to your promises, declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Amen. Grant to your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouths shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O gladsome light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. The psalm is on page... 358, 71, 11 to 20. Go, Go not far from me, O God. My God, make haste to help me. Let those who are my adversaries be confused and perish. Let those who seek to do me evil be covered with shame and dishonor. As for me, I will always patiently abide, and I will praise you more and more. My mouth shall speak daily of your righteous self and salvation, for I know not the end of them. I will go forth in the strength of the Lord God, 
and will make mention of your righteousness, yours alone. You, O God, have taught me from my youth. Even to this day I am telling of your wondrous works. Forsake me not, O God, in my old age, when I am gray-headed, until I have proclaimed your strength to this generation and your power to all those who are yet to come. Your righteousness, O God, reaches to the heavens. You have done great things. Who is like you, O God? Oh, what great troubles and adversities you have shown me, and yet you have turned and refreshed me. Indeed, you have brought me again from the depths of the earth. You have brought me to great honor and comforted me on every side. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first reading is from the book of Jeremiah 1, 4 to 10. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew and approved of you, and before you were born, I separated and set you apart, consecrating you, and I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Then said I, Ah, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am only a youth. But the Lord said to me, Say not, I am only a youth, for you shall go to all to whom I shall send you, and whatever I command you, you shall speak. Be not afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. See, I have this day appointed you to the oversight of the nations and of the kingdoms to root out and pull down, to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our first canticle is on page 86. Number nine. May God be merciful unto us and bless us, and show us the light of his countenance, and be merciful unto us. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Indeed, let all the peoples praise you. O oh, let the nations rejoice and be glad, for you shall judge the peoples righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O oh God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase, and God, even our own God, shall give us his blessings. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the world shall fear him. The second reading is from the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 14, starting in the 12th verse. So with yourselves, since you are eager for manifestations of the Spirit, strive to excel in building up the church. Therefore, one who speaks in a tongue should pray that he may interpret. For if I pray in a tongue, my spirit prays, but my mind is unfruitful. What am I to do? I will pray with my spirit, but I will pray with my mind also. I will sing praise with my spirit, but I will sing with my mind also. Otherwise, if you give thanks with your spirit, how can anyone in the position of an outsider say amen to your thanksgiving when he does not know what you are saying? For you may be giving thanks well enough, but the other person is not being built up. I thank God that I speak in tongues more than all of you. 
Nevertheless, in church I would rather speak five words with my mind in order to instruct others than ten thousand words in a tongue. Brothers, do not be children in your thinking. Be infants in evil, but in your thinking be mature. In the law it is written, By people of strange tongues and by the lips of foreigners will I speak to this people. And even then they will not listen to me, says the Lord. Thus tongues are a sign not for believers, but for unbelievers, while prophecy is a sign not for unbelievers, but for believers. If, therefore, the whole church comes together, and all speak in tongues, and outsiders or unbelievers enter, will they not say that you are out of your minds? But if all prophecy, but if all prophesy, and an unbeliever or outsider enters, he is convicted by all. He is called to account by all. The secrets of his heart are disclosed, and so, falling on his face, he will worship God and declare that God is really among you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our second canticle is on page 84, number 6. Splendor, Splendor and, and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain. For with your blood you have redeemed for God, from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. Amen. Luke four, twenty one to thirty two. And he began to speak to them. Today the scripture has been fulfilled while you are present and hearing and all spoke well of him and marveled at the world words of grace that came forth from his mouth and they said is not this joseph's son so he said to them you will doubtless quote to me this proverb physician heal yourself what we have learned by hearsay that you did in Capernaum, do here also in your own town. Then he said, Solemnly I say to you, no prophet is acceptable and welcome in his own town. But in truth I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the heavens were closed up for three years and six months, so that there came a great famine over all the land. And yet Elijah was not sent to a single one of them, but only to Zarephath in the country of Sidon, to a woman who was a widow. And there were many lepers in Israel in the time of Elijah the prophet, and yet not one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. When they heard these things, all the people in the synagogue were filled with rage, and rising up, they pushed and drove him out of the town. And they led him to the upper part of the hill on which their town was built, that they might hurl him headlong down. But passing through their midst, he went on his way, and he descended to Capernaum, a town of Galilee. And there he continued to teach the people on the Sabbath days. And they were amazed at his teaching, for his words was with authority and ability and weight and power. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks to, God. be to God. The Apostles' Creed is found on page 46. I believe, I believe in God, God the, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. 
He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us, and lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, and let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people, and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and take not your Holy Spirit from us. O God, the source of all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, give to your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech you, O Lord, and by your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Amen. Our ongoing prayers are for Audrey, Heather, Lori, Katie, Bill, Al, Jerry, Darlene, Joyce, Elizabeth, Patrick, Angela, Robert, Barb, Dylan, Carol, Anne, Harvey, Olivia, Gladys, John, Fred and Nancy, Janice, Sydney, Clara, Enzo, Paul, Rhiannon, Barry and Diane, Ben, Rose, Brian, Nathaniel, Paul, Mary Ellen, Ray, Ellie, Melissa, Thomas, Mike, Rob, Kim, Georgine, Jacob, Baxter, Jackson, Keba, Joke, Victoria, Arlen, Winston, Marty, Elizabeth, Jim, Norma, Carrie, Nancy, 
Deborah, and those you would name. We lift up our prayers for Debbie and Phil Johnson. this very difficult time and that there are miracles, we believe in miracles and we trust that you are working relentlessly on a miracle for them, for all of us. to live and to be healthy and to recover. He has more serving to do on this earth. Yes, Lord, we just lift up Bill to you and we ask for your mercy and for a miracle. We ask that as um, each step progresses as doctors have assessed his health. We ask that at some point it may plateau from where it is and come back to a state of health. We know that even if he recovers, it will be a long haul recovery, but we are eager to see and communicate with him again. And Lord, we ask for all those who are dealing with the struggles of the virus, not only physically, but also mentally, and financially yes. and in various other ways. We just ask that um, your mercy shines forth, that those who need support can get it, and that we can come out of this uh, more human, that we can see each other as brothers and sisters on this mm -hmm. planet, and that many may turn to you through it. Yes. You, we have a propensity for finding you through disaster, Lord, and we ask that through this disaster many are able to turn to you. Thank you for this time to pray together. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Our general thanksgiving is on page 51. Almighty, Almighty God, God Father, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you, and you have promised to your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their request. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing. Through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.